Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a pretty small mini repot with me slash story time. My camera is making noise at me like it's refocusing. I hope it's still refocusing on my face. Hopefully this isn't blurry as hell. You know what, it's probably because of this guy right here. So this is what we're actually repotting today. This is my Philodendron Luxurians. It's not actually in this basket. I will take out the plant from the basket. I just, I don't really know why it's in this basket. I think it's probably just because I cannot stand this pot. Oh goody, there's water in the bottom of it. That's awesome. So this rather now wet plant pot is a really shitty self-watering pot that I put this guy in a while back. I'm pretty sure I did it on camera, so there'll be an old repot of me doing this. I just hated the pot from the second that I used it. But when you water this, there's no place to pour the water. You still have to flood the plant from the top down when you water, and I didn't want to do that. So I hate this pot. I'm putting it into a different pot, which I will just get out for you now. And then we'll get into what I have to talk about today. Very quickly, this is the pot that I'm gonna put this into this is the Lechuza Delta 20. The reason I'm doing this is because Philodendron Luxurians happens to be a crawler, which means that it will grow very similar like this to what I'm showing you there. So it will literally just crawl along the surface of the soil and just root down that way. So for that reason, I'm going to plant it into one of these. I'm going to plant it at one side so it can just grow along the planter and I will probably face the planter sort of that way towards the light so it grows properly. What is this? this? This box? Is that all pond? I will probably line the planter at the bottom with this and then go straight into my substrates. So that's fine. It's kind of what I expected to get in the box anyway. We'll put this Lechuza pot down because it's not coming into play just yet. First thing we need to do is get the substrate out of this one. So I'm going to put the substrate into this. We're just going to get this out, survey the scene, and then we'll focus on getting it into the other pot. Right. So let me get my gloves on. So I wanted to talk to you today about something that happened. Literally, this was so long ago, guys. I can't even tell you how long ago this was. This was not too long after my channel was shouted out by Jenna Marbles. Long story short, I'd started my channel. My channel was very young. Like it was very, very young. It either had maybe a thousand subscribers or maybe about 4,000 subscribers. And I remember one night, nothing untoward had happened. I remember one night I was just sat there, uh, home alone editing, like you do. And I got, I got loads of comments um, on my video. I hadn't checked my subscriber count or anything, but I got loads of comments on my videos. And I was like, whoa, this is quite a lot. Didn't pay too much attention to it because I was working, I was editing, trying to get something out for like the next day or whatever it was. I can't really remember. Oh, this is just gonna come out brilliantly. Love that. Oh. My God, can you see that? Look at that. That's not great. This is gonna take a little while to separate this. Luckily, we got time. Let me just grab this in a way where it's not gonna totally hurt the plant and we'll just massage it, I think. So yeah, I think long story short, I saw a comment that just said, oh, I'm here for Jen from Jenna. And I was like, Jenna who? Because obviously, I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, we all know who Jenna Marbles is. So I didn't think that it had anything to do with her. Turns out it was Jenna Marbles and she had mentioned me on a Jenna and Julian podcast, and it was a podcast all about her houseplants. Now, I watch Jenna quite a bit. Well, I used to, I haven't had time recently. Obviously, she's since she's left YouTube as well, but I didn't think she'd ever spoke about her plants before. Now, if I'm right, she hadn't until that podcast, so I had no idea she was even into houseplants. But long story short, she mentioned, she mentioned me, she mentioned my name, she talked about rare plants, I think, for the first time. Not many people were talking about them back then, you've got to remember this. Uh, by the way, guys, I think I'm going to have to snap these because they've grown through the bottom of this, and I don't think we're going to be able to save them. I'll do my best. That's the one downside of these pots. If you get roots through the bottom, you're a little bit screwed in that sense. It's really hard to get them out. I'll do my best anyway. So yeah, she shouted me out. That was kind of awesome. I realized and I was just kind of, I was just a little bit dumbfounded that she was even talking about me. I think at one point they like played a clip of my voice or something like that. And they were talking about my voice. Hold on. Do you want to hear her voice, Julian? Yeah, she sounds like Pansy. Yeah. But she's not yelling at me. Yeah, Kaylee Ellen. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to the next episode of Rare Plant Index. You may have seen already from the title, but this week's episode is on Calathea. Now, a quick... Great accent. Before we start. Right? But I was just so knocked back to hear any of this. I was kind of shocked. That's not what I want to talk to you about, though. That's just kind of the introduction of how all of this came about, because it is relevant, believe it or not. So, in this same podcast, Jenna Marbles spoke about rare plants 
And she was like, you know, the certain plants, I can't remember how she put it, but she was like, you know, the certain plants that you just can't get. You can't get them, you can't get them. Because at the time, remember, this was a very different climate to now. And she started talking about this plant. I had never heard of it before. And she, she spoke about it so highly, you could tell she really, really loved this plant. It was a Columnia Gloriosa. Right. But the one that I'm looking for has these like dark purpley fuzzy leaves, super, it like hangs down super far and at the bottom has these like spectacular red flowers that go like this. That's, that's a plant that I want, but probably can't find. So I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna get another plant because I can't find it, you know, whatever. And it was a long trailing plant. It had beautiful lush foliage. I think if I remember rightly, the leaves were sort of fishtailed the way that they grew. It had a really nice growth pattern. And this plant was, it was like a beautiful deep purple. And I think that it had beautiful, I'm doing this from memory by the way, it had these gorgeous orange flowers on it. And to be fair, it's not the kind of plant that I'm into. It's not. But I saw that picture and I was like, that's beautiful. I get it. You know what I mean? I don't have to necessarily be into a plant to, to get it and see what people love about it. And I was just like, that's an amazing plant. Obviously the shout out happened. I think she shouted me out twice because then there was another one on a plant tour that she did, a tour of her plants, I think. And I kind of wanted to do something to say thank you, right? Sorry if I'm looking away from the camera a lot, by the way, I'm just uh, really trying to get these roots through without killing my plant. I don't know if it's working right now. That's a loud airplane, by the way. I don't know if you can hear that coming down my mic. Jesus Christ. Or is it a helicopter? I think that's a helicopter. That's loud. Right, that's unfortunately, there's been some casualty here with the root, but honestly, it is unavoidable. Please really look out for your plants when they're in self-watering because this will happen so fast you don't even know it. So try and check them. Um, because if you leave it too long, like I know I have, you will unfortunately have to get rid of some root. Your plant will be fine from my experience, but you have to lose a bit of root. So anyway, I saw this beautiful plant and I was like, okay, as a thank you, I would love to find this plant for her, right? If anyone can find this plant, it's me, right? This is so long ago now. And I thought, right, okay. I think I'd started the shop. I'd not long started the shop or I was starting the shop. I don't know if it was known that I was starting the shop. I cannot remember. It was so long ago, guys, honestly. But I thought, right, okay, let's get this plant. And it must have taken me at least two months just to find someone that could supply the plant. This, this is how long it took. It's not a common plant that people tend to have domestically. Let me tell you guys, this was not an easy plant to get, like at all. Literally nobody had this. This took literally probably two months to even find someone that had it to sell. So long story short, I managed to find, I didn't tell anybody about this. Nobody knew about this. That's why you're only hearing about it now because plot twist, it didn't go great. Um, so I tried getting this plant in and I bought it. It took a little while to get here. I think I bought it off the back of an order that I was doing for the shop anyway. So I know that I was at least preparing to open the shop. That's how I know. So I got that in. It looked okay in the box because the plant was kind of curled up on itself to just sort of save on space because it was a really long plant. It was great. So I thought, yay, awesome, great. I'm not going to take any more off this, by the way, guys. I think we've taken enough off. I think we've lost enough root today as well. So I'm going to leave it like that, but I'll just sit him in there while we get the pot ready. So I got it. I took it out of the wrapping and it looked, it, it was just horrendous. It was honestly horrendous. It looked terrible. I put it down to the fact that it just didn't travel well because I think it was still early in the year. I didn't really know too much. Oh, that's my table moving. I didn't really know too much about shipping plants generally. Ultimately, I put it down to it just being a bad shipment. So I thought, okay, maybe it'll rehab. It did not. Literally every single leaf dropped off the stem. It was a nightmare in 48 hours. It was just, it was done. So I think I threw that out because I know what I wanted to give Jenna. I wanted to give her essentially what she wanted, which was the picture, right? So some time went by. I think I did another order uh, with the same, the same place, I think. I thought, right, let's give this another chance. Maybe it just, you know, I had so much stuff in the box. Maybe it got crushed. I don't know. So I gave it another chance after that. I think the second one might have been marginally better from what I remember. It still looked absolutely terrible. And I do have a photograph of the second one. I didn't have any photographs prior to this point. I took a photograph of it because 
it was just like, do I get a replacement? What? Because this plant, by the way, also, it didn't, it wasn't cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but at the time it was a lot for a plant. It was certainly more than a lot of the aroids I was getting in. So I think we took a picture and we sent it to the supplier. From that point on, we were like, okay, maybe it's the shipping process. Maybe it's shipping to the UK. It's just not doing well at all. So let's cease this because the plan was originally to ship it to me. I can check it over, rehab it, whatever I need to do. And then I will ship it to NSC Tropicals, that's Enid. So that was the original plan. We would get it and then we would ship it over. So I thought, okay, this has gone wrong twice now. This is not good. I really want her to have this plan. There's still plenty of time. Plus she doesn't know what's happening. So I thought, okay, let's try a different approach. The main reason why I wanted this to go to NSC was because I knew that I couldn't necessarily just give Jenna Marbles a gift. Like I'm not an idiot. I know it doesn't really work that way. I didn't want to have her contact information or anything like that. That's not what it was about. So I thought the best thing to do would be to get a plant to NSE. Enid obviously agreed to this. And if Jenna wanted the gift, because she didn't have to accept the gift, if she wanted it, then she could contact NSE and she could either, I don't know, pick the plant up, have it posted, whatever. And that way I wouldn't need any of her information. That wouldn't have to happen. Cool. So that's why Enid was involved in the first place. I can't remember if we purchased another plant or the supplier replaced it. Again, this was so long ago and I have not had time to check my invoices, but essentially we sent a new plant to Enid. So we didn't actually send the plant to us that time. We sent it direct. I think it got there. I think Enid sent a message saying, oh, it's got here. I was like, oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Can I have a picture of it? Can I have a picture of it? I think she said it looked okay or it looked good. I can't remember what she said. And I was like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I see? And she was like, yeah, yeah, just, I'll, I'll send you a picture. And what came back? <laughs> Now there's an issue there. I'm not saying that Jenna Marbles would not appreciate a plant that was not perfect, right? I'm not saying that at all. But my point is, I knew that Jenna had an understanding of what in her mind she would expect for that plant. And let me tell you, this was not it. This was not it at all. I was absolutely mortified when I saw this. It looked, I think it looked a little bit better. Again, this is from memory um, than the one that arrived to me, but not much better. I think I might have it on here. Hang on, give me one moment so I can refresh myself with what it looked like. Yep, I can see it now in our greenhouse. Okay, this does not look good. It doesn't look terrible, right? It doesn't look terrible, but it was just nothing like what Jenna would have wanted. It was, it was very stringy. And I think clearly with that type of plant, when you shift it. Sorry, I'm going to have to make a little bit of noise. When you ship it, it loses its leaves. So that's obviously not something anyone expected. I would now, obviously I have that experience shipping stuff in. I would have took one look at the plant going, that's not going to ship. But I didn't know at the time, right? This was just me being naive little me just trying to learn. So I'm pretty sure Enid was like, oh yeah, it looks great. And I was just like, no. I don't think Enid knew that it was for Jenna Marbles specifically. I think I just said it, it's a big YouTuber over in America. Would it be okay if, you know, I sent the plan to you, they could arrange with you to get it, everything else, so I don't need their information. I still don't think Enid knows actually that it was for Jenna Marbles. I don't expect that Enid would know who Jenna Marbles is. But yeah, she was like, yeah, yeah, it's great. I was like, it's not good. Cause that's not what, it's not even what I expected. And what I came to learn by the way was that beautiful purple color. And I would know this if I was into AJ Hoyer, et cetera at the time, but that that lovely purple color was clearly a sun's dress thing. And that's a real shame because it does look great. And to be honest, I think even I would have one now as like a homage to the whole thing. So the plant looked okay, but it still didn't look right. And I think that was the moment it hit me. I was like, oh, okay. I think at the time I thought, you know, it's a seasonal thing or, or sun's dress thing. And I was just like, oh no, I think it's game over. And to be honest, at that point, I almost gave up right then and there. Um, I think I looked at a couple more pictures of this plant that someone, I think it was a private seller, had at the time, and I still have those. <laughs> so I was sent those pictures and took one look at those and thought, no, that's still not what I want. Uh, now what? Because the closest thing to what I was after was what Enid now had at the nursery. So I tried to do what I thought was a cool thing, you know, and it just, it just didn't, didn't work out and it's such a shame. Do you know what I mean? I, I presume you may have thought there was a happy ending for that, but there isn't. So guess what? That plant is still sat at NSE Tropicals 
in the nursery. I do not expect right now that Jenna is watching at least my videos anymore. I don't know if she watches Plan YouTube anymore. If you don't know, I, I expect everyone does know, but Jenna quit YouTube. So I'm certainly not expecting any kind of um, anything really. I, and I don't think she necessarily want this plant, but technically if she does want this plant, it is looking a lot better. Um, I will insert some pictures now of how it currently looks at the nursery because I think I got these pictures sent just the other day, the other week or something like that, a week ago, two weeks ago. It's looking okay. It's not the worst. It's just, just not what anybody expected. And I'm really sad that I couldn't do that because it, I just wanted to, to do something nice to say thank you because it was just, it warmed my heart at the time because of the way that she spoke about this plant on her podcast. She was just like, oh, it's beautiful. And I'm just like, oh. if I could, if I could get that, that would be a great thank you gift, you know? It's just such a shame that it just, it did not work out. But technically that's Jenna's plant. That is still sat there at NSE. So if for some reason Jenna finds out about that and for some reason that she would like the plant, she is absolutely welcome to that plant. I will arrange for it to be shipped with Enid to wherever she wants it shipped, if she wants that plant. I suspect not. Um, I know she obviously has dogs and I don't know, I actually don't know if that's toxic to dogs or not, but should she want it, it is absolutely hers. So what a shame, eh? What a shame. It's one of these things where it's just like, you want so badly not to be catfished by a plant. You want that so badly and it happens. And when it happens, it's normally bad, but this was like mega, mega let down for me. So I'm really sad that I just could not pull that off. It's such a shame for me, honestly, it's such a shame. If you have one of these plants at home, by the way, I haven't mentioned this, but if you have one of these plants at home, I would love to see them. I bet they look great. And obviously you, if you could confirm for me down the bottom, if they are sun, you know, if the, sorry, the color is from Sunstress, that'd be great as well. Or tag me um, on Instagram in all of your pictures of Columnia Gloriosa, if you've got it. Um, Cause it, it's such a pretty plant. I, I get why she chose it based on that image, to be honest because it, it was lovely, long, purple, beautiful growth pattern. It had these gorgeous orange flowers. Like it was a nice plant and I'm not that into flowers, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna make any secret of it. That's changed a little bit since I got into Hoya, but generally speaking, not really into it. So to have me think that a plant like that looks pretty good is honestly saying quite a bit. This is not being slapdashed. I'm not saying it's been slapdashed. It's maybe not as secure as it could be in here, but at the same time, I've got to let it grow in. If I just put this on the floor, because I don't think I need it anymore. This has been sat in my flat all summer. So it's obviously been neglected and this is not a plant you want to neglect. And it's a plant that you can neglect very quickly because it's very thirsty for philodendron. I will say that. It is without a doubt the thirstiest, the thirstiest? Yeah, the thirstiest philodendron that I have by a long way. So self-watering is great for this. And I didn't mention before what mix I had. It is the mix that I do of Koya and Lekka, only I added more Lekka and I had a little bit of perlite as well, just in case, because that is a lot more soil than what it's used to. Um, and if it's gonna be kept all moist, I don't want the plant to die. But yeah, that's not a particularly long story. It's not necessarily really a story as such. It's just a really unfortunate thing that I tried to do and it, it just didn't come off, which is a shame. Um, but I kind of wanted to tell it because it's just a weird thing. I thought about it the other day and I, I can't remember why I thought about it, but I thought, oh my God, I forgot that I did that. So there's a beautiful plant sat there um, at NSA. It, it's not looking brilliant in my opinion, but I think my opinion on this plant is, is one of resentment anyway, but it's a beautiful plant. And should for any reason Jenna wish to have that plant, it's hers. So she doesn't need to get in touch with me. She can just speak to Enid, I think, and, um, and Enid can ship it to her or somebody can pick it up or whatever. I tried, <laughs> I really tried. I didn't mention it at the time because obviously it didn't, it didn't happen. I think the plan would have been, I don't think any message I, I could have sent to her would have got through. So I probably would have had to show the plant on a video. Um, and I think hopefully she would see the video and hopefully get in touch with somebody. I think I was gonna point her in the direction of NSA anyway. It's a shame that Jenna obviously isn't on YouTube anymore, but I get it. I honestly get it. If you've done something for that many years and you feel that, look, this isn't the same as what it was, or it's it's hurting you more mentally than it is feeding you, um, I totally get it. And although Jenna probably doesn't watch me anymore, um, I just wanna wish her the best. 
So if for some reason, some amazing reason that she even watches this, I hope that you're doing okay. And I'm sure I speak for everybody that says that as well. <laughs> so if for some reason, some wild reason, um, anyone connected to Jenna happens to watch this, I really wish you all the best. I think you did the right thing and I wish you nothing but happiness. And yeah, not much to say other than I just wish you well. So that was my mini story with some photographs. I wish that I'd had the time to remember this better because I probably could have captured a lot more detail in this because I've made that sound quite short and it wasn't. This was spanning over months to the point where now I literally forgot that the plant was even sat there at NSE. Oh my God, this table. Honestly, look at this table. It'll swing this way because I have bricks on this side of the table, right? And you'd think that'd be enough. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you put four on? Well, the set of wheels with brakes comes with two brakes and two wheels. I should have alternated the corners so this wouldn't happen, but I went off what my um, scissor lift has and the scissor lift has brakes on one side. So I just mirrored that. That was a mistake. I might have to change out the wheels and alternate them so the brakes are here and here to stop that happening. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this kind of brief story time slash repot with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye!